Hey guys, here's my uh, 2014 Kawasaki Ninja 650, and I seem to be having a little bit of problem with uh, my tire going down low, even after I filled it up to 40 psi actually. So I happen to have found the culprit here. It looks like a little nail head in there, but uh. So what I'm going to do is uh, roll the tire back some and uh, I have a plug kit here that I picked up from Slime on Amazon. I did have a tire plug kit from uh, Harbor Freight and Tool but uh, I wasn't too sure about how long it would last so, uh, so I picked up the other one and I got this emergency flat tire repair since in the garage I don't really have a uh, air compressor or anything so I'm just mo mostly going to use it to uh, do the plug this way and then fill it up with air that way anyways uh, let's get started I'm gonna pull out the uh, slime tire plug kit remove any puncturing objects insert the tool slide up and down to roughen and clean out the inside of the hole which will allow the uh, plug material to easily insert um, and then you're gonna want to put it in with the inserting tool looks like this and then um, insert the plug centered in the eye of the needle until puncture into puncture until it's pushed approximately two-thirds of the way in pull the needle straight out with a rapid motion I can do that. Well, let's get going. Yep. <laughs> Did you hear that air? I'm going to pull out these from the protective backing and coat with the uh, rubber cement. <clears throat> Hopefully I can get this thing through. <sighs> I am definitely a novice when it comes to maintenance, so let's coat it with the rubber cement. don't have any gloves on like I would at work, but... Yep, definitely a noob. I got to puncture this thing. One puncture with the Allen key on the other side of the garage will do. Alright. So I'm going to pull this out. Stick it in like they want. Two thirds of the way, I guess. Well, it's definitely in there. It's not hissing anymore, so that's good. It wants me to cut it off. Well, uh, Mercy Flat Tire Repair Kit. So we got a. Open this up. We got an emergency air inflator, which this is the part I need. And I think I could plug it into my battery with these through so the cable on the side, I believe, right here. I got a bunch of extra connections here, but I guess I could plug it into my I could plug it into my cigarette lighter in my car right here. All right, let's try that out. Probably the easiest. I have it plugged in. Power cord is going to my car, which is running. I want to make sure I start it, uh, and then I have to flip the switch. Uh, 
All right, so it's been about three or four minutes, <clears throat> which it recommends to fill up. Uh, I did have 25 PSI before I did this stuff, so I cut a little bit short at three minutes, but <clears throat> it feels pretty solid right now, so let's give it a check with the included slime air gauge. It's showing up. 40. Wow, got it right the first time. That's what I keep my air pressure at, so it's a fix that'll do for the moment. Uh, I'm going to tidy her up, clean up the chain, and we'll be ready to ride for our uh, 75 degree weather this week. All right, peace out, you guys.